In this video, I'd like to talk about the modifications that I've had to make to this console for it to suit my own Hauptwerk specifications and to suit my own playing style as well. I'd also like to discuss with you the future modifications that I'd like to make to it. And that includes how are we going to incorporate a fourth manual onto a three manual console? How are we going to get around that? Okay, so here we go. When I bought this organ back in 2018, it arrived with this mysterious envelope, which I assumed to be paperwork, receipts, various invoices, that sort of thing. But it didn't sound like paperwork to me. The first Hauptwerk organ that I got was an Austrian organ available for free, and I'll give you a link to that, which perfectly matched the size of this. Basically meant I was able to use my physical stops to the virtual stops in the software. The stop names on here didn't match up with that of the Hauptwerk organ. Luckily, this resolved the problem. And it took one or two liberties and a little bit of imagination. For example, the eight foot principle on the grate would be referred to as an open diapason. It's a similar thing. So after spending about half an hour matching up the um, stops with the virtual Friesack organ in Austria, I had a perfectly suitable replica here in my own mini cathedral. Well, Nala just loves all the attention, doesn't she? So the next thing to work out was how I was going to have different general settings and different divisional settings for different organs. I've got about half a dozen organs on the computer, and obviously with them having different specifications, we'd need to have different divisional and general settings. So one way around that was to use the, the memory bank here. On this organ, there are six memory banks. And being creative, I know that Rotterdam is on number three. So whenever I load Rotterdam, number three goes on, and all of the divisionals are assigned to Rotterdam. Even before I had the console, I had a launch pad. I'll probably do it in another video, but I've actually got another Hauptwerk organ in the garage. It's a chamber organ, and I used it for that. And I realized how good these things are. And I can't imagine using Hauptwerk now without one of these. You can program anything you want in the software to be replicated on here. So, on the launch pad, I've set up my generals and the sequencer. So the generals are all there, and they can be controlled using the plus and minus button down here, again, which I've configured. I've also got a set button, which is the same thing as does the same as that. On the top here, there are six organs set as my favorites, and that allows me to just press the button on there and it will switch from one organ to another. One of the great things about this is the ability it gives me to put the laptop and computer out of mind, notwithstanding the issues that I'm having. And also it means I don't need to have a, a screen up here or any touch screens or a mouse and keyboard anywhere in sight. Everything I need is on here. And I would highly recommend if you've got a Hauptwerk or you're wanting to get a Hauptwerk, a launch pad is one of your best friends. And at the end of the organ session, 
I've got a shutdown button up there, which just turns everything off. This was the first bit of real DIY that I performed on the organ. It required me to drill holes into the instrument itself, cut out a bit of wood here, this is just normal cheap uh, pine, which I've painted in a very similar colour to the, to the instrument itself, levelled it to the angle of the pedal and it is, it's solid because it's, it, it's stuck into the organ with those, there's a bracket there and there's also one underneath which you won't be able to see. This toe piston is also screwed on, so it, that's not moving anywhere. This came from Amazon. It basically sends a keystroke to the computer and then in, in the Hauptwerk software, I can pick up that keystroke and assign it to any function. So I've assigned it to plus one in the sequencer. Cable goes underneath through the organ out the back and it's basically a, a USB. Around about the same time, I got the, the toe piston. I was thinking about how I could utilize one of these pistons down here as an advanced button. That's all I wanted, just advance. The toe pistons on the right are couplers, so I wasn't able to utilize those. There was, however, a tutty piston all the way over here. But it occurred to me, why don't I use this button, this toe piston, as the advance? But obviously over here, it's too, it, it's too far away. It's all the way above top G, and there was no way I was going to reach up there to get advance. So I brought it over towards the pedals, which required me drilling a hole and this, this, one, this required a little bit of trial and error. I had to plug it into different MIDI ports on the circuit board in the organ to find one which was free, basically. But it has allowed me to program that tutty button as an advance. If I take Bark away for a moment, you will see a piece of basking tape, or whatever it is, cell tape. That's high tech, right? This is the whole being creative part again. That is, what, a centimetre and a half thick? It's basically pushed the music desk towards me by a centimetre and a half, making it more upright. I, I want it flat. So, that was the answer. Now, if I take you down towards the carpet, don't look too closely, please. This is being filmed in 4K. You'll see another creative modification. I prefer to have the bench fairly high. And for those people wondering why they used to play in socks, but now play in shoes, it's for that reason. The lower the bench was, and with my high heels on the organ shoes, it made it uncomfortable. So I was too low to the pedal board. Higher the organ bench is, the more comfortable and the more appropriate these high heels uh, felt. The next modification that I made was on the advice of um, a friend of mine, the head voice of Harrison and Harrison, Andrew Scott. He said that if you tighten these nuts, they will make them stiffer. I have to confess that when I first got the organ, much to my dismay, the pedals were far too loose and it made playing tricky pedal passages extremely daunting indeed. When I tightened them up, all of these, wow, it made a huge, huge difference. That is one of my favorite modifications I've made so far to the organ.
The only other modification that I made was to disconnect the amplifiers and the inbuilt speakers. I've got my own speaker set up in here and the organ is connected to Hauptsberg. That was always going to be the plan. So what we have here is essentially a glorified MIDI keyboard. Well, that was a list of the modifications that I've made so far, but that doesn't mean that we need to stop there. There's lots more that I want to do to it. The next thing on the hit list is to give it a bit of a dust down. And after I've spent many hours doing that, I need to consider how we're going to incorporate the fourth manual. Now let's talk about that for a little bit. Option one would be to commission a physical keyboard up here and change the, the dimensions a little bit. I personally feel like it would be too far away if, if it was up all the way up there and if you brought the keyboards further down and towards me it they would feel too close. I don't think that's going to be an option. Which then leaves the option of having it as a virtual keyboard. Now without getting into the technical aspects of that, this is not a technical video, there are ways that I can transfer the fourth manual onto another keyboard not just by the use of couplers here, but by actually assigning the keyboard to be played maybe on the choir. So what that basically means is I would be able to play the solo on the choir at all times without any couplers drawn. The only drawback is I wouldn't be able to separate out the choir and the fourth manual stops. It would basically be one large division. You pull out a solo stop, it would sound on the choir. You pull out a choir stop, it would also sound on the choir. You'd have two stops speaking at once. You wouldn't be able to easily separate them. Alternatively, I could have it on the swell, but let's face it, as organists, swell to great is nearly always out, isn't it? <laughs> so that wouldn't work. But the other option is to have it as a, a floating division, which bare bones means it's not actually assigned to any keyboard. It's just, it's there in the background and I can press probably one of the buttons on the launch pad, yay for the launch pad again, uh, and bring it down to any manual. If I wanted to use it as a solo division, it would be to the detriment of potentially the choir division. So it's not ideal clearly, but it's a, it's a short term solution. Where are we going to put the stops? All of these stops as previously discussed are all taken up and I already don't have space for all of these swell stops. There are more pedal stops behind the scenes that I can't use and the same over on the choir and great. So there's no hope that I can get the fourth division stops anywhere on here. So how are we going to get around that? Well, two options spring to mind straight away. Launchpad, get another one of these. Then how do we attach it to the organ? I already have a launch pad on the bench here. Do I want it on here? Do I have it on this side? It's starting to look a little bit Tesla. It's starting to look a little bit spaceship. I don't want that, I'm a traditionalist and I, I like things just to be pure and neat. But I do think a launch pad is a good idea to have. Perhaps in rehearsal, it would be fine to have it on the bench and then when in performance, you know, for the recitals and the recordings, just put it out of sight. But if it's out of sight, then obviously I can't change any of the stops on there. And if you've seen my live hymns videos, you'll know that I like to change things all the time. But perhaps I may decide against having another one of these and therefore a touch screen might be appropriate. But again, we're back to the question of where does it go? 
touch screen well either up here but then it's blocking the pictures I can't do that attach it to the side here so it sticks out here starting again to look a little bit like a spaceship I don't think that's going to be viable for me just yet Hopefully a quick and easy future modification is to improve the lighting on the organ. There are lights underneath here which are brilliant if you, if you want the swell um, illuminated, useless if you want anything else illuminated. The lighting on the pedal board is next to useless and I apologise now for any past and future broadcasts where the pedal lighting is dire. I'd also like to get a, a lamp here for the music desk itself and I can get that from any DIY shop. If anyone knows of any good organ lamps please let me know. All of these stops have LEDs. LEDs? Well they're 1990s ancestor equivalent um, but some of them don't work so my 16 foot on a swell doesn't work, my swell to pedal and great to pedal there don't work few of them have gone, I don't think they'll be too hard to replace. I've had a go, but I can't quite work out how to do it. So again, they just need to be fixed. And I think the final thing I want to change, certainly in the short term, is to make these swell pedals just a bit stiffer, just to give it a little bit more feedback when I push it. You know, the best organs have a swell pedal that you have to work and you feel it moving. And not just the mechanical organs, the detached organs, you know, the wonderful Harrison and Harrison organs, Nicholson, all of those wonderful organs that I'm so familiar with, have a bit of weight in that swell pedal. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel false. I sometimes just find these a little bit light. I just want there to be a little bit more weight in the, in the pedals, so I'm not so eager to smash open the virtual swell box. So finally, what have I missed? What, have, what modifications have you made to your organ? And what do you think I could possibly do in the short term or even longer term to, to modify this and, and, and enhance this? I'm very open to have your suggestions. Any way to make my life as an organist easier would be greatly appreciated. Well, I hope that's given you some ideas. I hope that's given you a bit more of an insight into, into my help to work. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please leave me a comment. Please click that like button, subscribe, and make sure you click that bell button next to the subscribe button. It makes sure you don't miss any of my notifications. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.